I have tolerated the stupidity that is this week, all week, waiting for this moment. The moment that is the only reason that Disney spent money to send Billy and Allison to Super Bowl Radio Row. Well, here it is. For all the latest headlines and information, tune to the Sports Center on ESPN Radio all throughout the day. So the moment that I've been waiting for oh. is Billy Gill, and this is largely a visual joke, but we will try and give you the play-by-play that doesn't exclude the radio and podcast audiences. Billy Gill is now at Super Bowl Radio Row. It is about to become a very sad place because everyone leaves <laughs> right about now, and they just leave the litter after a parade. There are no guests, nobody available. But right now, we can still get some guests by having – Billy Gill in an eagle costume. Take us on a tour of Radio Row. The floor is yours, Billy. I'm going to get out of the way. I just want to hear where you take this. You have four or five minutes to shine and show all the ESPN executives that you deserve a promotion. (laughs) This is the worst idea we've ever had. I can't see anything. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I almost walked into something already. I can't see any people, so I don't know how I'm going to help you with this at all and just so you know the uh, espn executives made their way over to our table for the backstreet boys yeah so all the powerful people are here watching me make a fool of myself i can't see where i'm going we went that way last time and it didn't work we need to go this way all right we switched we switched up the plan because last time we didn't see anybody the backstreet boys were making fun of me there's a random person taking photos of me that i don't know it's really hot in here Charlie's fist bumping people, making friends. Where am I going? He's not doing his job. Right. Charlie's not doing his job, which is to get you to entertaining places uh, so that you could talk to people. I just as walked the into eagle. a wall. Yeah, of course you did. Okay, so you're just walking around. Are you going to interview somebody? Uh, your head is disinflating at an alarming see. rate. I can't see. I'm walking around blind, holding a microphone to my throat because I can't see what's going on. Let me know if there's like someone I should talk to, like a famous person. Well, I think that's Charlie's job. We've paid for him to be there as well. I was hoping that he would just take you to a a surprise famous person, and then you would do an interview uh, while dressed in a bald eagle costume. You want to just talk to that police officer about race relations in America? Oh, that's a ringer's Kevin Clark. You should have said what's up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. What's his name? Kevin Clark. You missed the window. I'm walking by so you can see if I come out in this shot. I I tried to ruin CBS Sports' shot by standing in the background of their show. He's going to walk into a pillar, Charlie. Be careful. Charlie, be careful. He's going to walk into a pillar. Sorry, sir. I don't see any. Where is my help? I don't. Where am I? All right. Hold on. All right. I'm walking. CBS. This is going worse than the first time, I would say, because it's really hot. Yeah, but you have an eagle suit on. (laughs) Yeah. Hello, sir. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Hopefully the Rams, anybody but the Patriots. All right, All right. and that concludes yes, the Eagles Super Bowl coverage. This show ain't free. Time for some ads. $2. Oh, wait. Vander. Oh, there's a man there, Holyfield. Holyfield. There's a man there, uh, Holyfield. I don't know. Who's going to win? I don't know. He's oh, running away from the Eagles. What? A Vander Holyfield hasn't moved so fast since the you know 1990s. He ran away from a microphone-wielding eagle. That's I w- what I wanted to do the entire Super Bowl week. I'm willing to stay right here if we can create more moments like that. We that's did our, it. That's our payoff. That's it. Hold on. Any more? Yeah, hell of a payoff. Chasing Evander Holyfield. All right. Let's 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 keep him wandering around. Let's follow him for a while. Maybe he'll interrupt parts of the club. So, of course, during the commercial break, uh, the bald eagle happened upon the two other Backstreet Boys. That would have been good if it had happened on air. <laughs> It did not happen on air. They could not be kept there. And so now the bald eagle soars alone. Uh, So, Mike, let's go ahead and open up the club with some sounds from the week. And Billy will just wander around in the suit. This is how we're going to conclude Super Bowl week. Do you believe? Quatrains from the Great One. What is this? It's time for Nostra Daniel. Whether luck be a lady, or you bet on Tom Brady, the goat gets silenced like the lambs, and victory goes to the L.A. Rams. Oh. 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 
Paulie! Paulie! My manhood is throbbing. Oh. <laughs> did I make a pick? Paulie, did I make a the pick? The Great One has spoken. Did, I heard the Rams. Did I make a pick? I heard the Rams. You picked the Rams. I, I, I did. <laughs> I love him so much. That, of course, is the fat Baldwin brother, <laughs> Daniel Baldwin. Oh, Tony, Tony, uh, Tony! The Patriots. Yeah! Patriots. The bald eagle got a prediction oh no from Tony Dungy. I can't, <laughs> I can't see and I was screaming Herm at him. <laughs> Wait, you <laughs> called Tony Herm? All right, pod, oh, no. uh, pod the eagle down. I he doesn't know he's see. on air right now. I can't see. Let's open up the club at Levitard show. He called him Herm. Fifty dollars. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think the funniest thing from the sports week is the bald eagle because he can't see very well. I'm going to go ahead and say that's the reason. Just confused Tony Dungy and Herm Edwards. Very funny. This is all you wanted him to do today? Yes, that's all. I, this is why how was this I, so difficult? This is how I wanted to spend the whole week, just him chasing people through Radio Row looking for predictions. They're being shepherded by handlers. Like, Tony Dungy was whisked away by the FBI. He should have been a guest, like a, a Radio Row guest, Billy. I want to go up there next year in, in an Eagle suit. Can I do it? Because someone else is getting shine right now and you want it? Well, no, I'll do a better job. Uh, the Super Bowl's a little too far from your home. It's in Miami next year. Oh, wow. Whoa. Gotta use some miles. Oh, 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 okay. There might be a huge payoff here coming. Hold up, hold up. Oh, no way. Oh, down. Dallas. I tell you, that's a tough one, man. I just want to see the game that we watched two weeks ago. You know, I, I want to see a great game. Big Todd Gurley fan. But at the same time, big Brady fan, too. So I'm looking for a great game. I really don't have a prediction because I want the best team to win that day. How's that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks to Diamond Dallas Page. Yeah, we got him on the show, and he didn't know it. He had no idea. Good job, Billy. All he had to do and was wear an eagle Congratulations, suit. Sam, for getting his name right. <laughs> Go ahead and give me at Levitard Show um, I, a poll here, Stugatz, at Levitard Show on Instagram and Twitter. And Mike, just play some sounds to filibuster as Stugatz finds them. Nancy Pelosi, what's up? That's Tell right. me, what, don't y'all got to fly? That's right. Uh, ESPN is allowed to talk politics. Nancy Pelosi, what's up? Whose words mean less, Stugatz or Kyrie Irving? 51% of the audience said Kyrie. I am a straight punk. <laughs> what else you got, Mike? We're still here. 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 Does Dan have any idea how graphics work? Lincoln Kennedy, what's up, man? 90. Yeah, I'm working. Where you go? You going to the FHM party tonight? You going to FHM tonight? All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> K-Rodge, Radio Row. 97% of the audience said Dan has no idea how graphics work. Would you buy one? <laughs> oh, Bill Belichick asking you to buy the book. He might not write. Would you buy one? <laughs> Who else? <laughs> Say that to me. Say that to anybody. Oh. Say it to somebody. Oh, dog. Dog. <laughs> Stay low. <laughs> shut up. Oh, There's a dude taking pictures of the eagle. The Put your shut on. The useless eagle. Someone... That's not a dude. That's Tony Grossi. Oh, my God. <laughs> Super Bowl week. <laughs> Billy, it's Tony Grossi. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary Cleveland sports columnist. <laughs> That's not a dude. That's Tony Grossi. <laughs> Who else is in the club? I took three different balls, one five pound, another seven pound, and another nine pound. We figured out that the five pound, you could throw farther, you could catch easier, and hit a target easier. Hope you enjoyed the Dan Levatar show on ESPN Radio. World star. Nancy Pelosi, what's up?